All right. So outside of, you know, physical therapy and squat you and all that stuff, man, what interests you? What really drives you in life? What are some things that you like to do that maybe your fans really don't know about? Yeah. I mean, I'm definitely a big people person. So I love hanging out with friends. I've got a good number of friends uh, in Kansas City, St. Louis, uh, all over the U.S. that we try to, my, me and my wife try to go see every once in a while. Um, so I enjoy doing that. I enjoy traveling. Um, I'm a huge 90s hip hop fan. I think most <laughs> listeners that uh, check out Squat University stuff for a while. Probably know that about me. That was like, in my opinion, the last really cool generation of hip hop, you know? Oh, I agree. I, I mean, I know the stuff nowadays, people really like it, but I think back then it was just, it just had a different vibe to it, you know? I'll tell you, there's some people that are doing it right today. Like you've got Logic and J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. I enjoy listening to them. There are people like 6 9 and all this. I mean, there's so many horrible rap it's crazy, out man. there. It's yeah. so bad. Not that we didn't have bad rap back in the day too, because I mean, if you listen to certain things like Lil John and the East Side Boys, they're not the most lyrically uh, inept people. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Like it's, it's pretty much the same stuff as nowadays. Like it's just, just more beat in the yeah. feeling. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But I mean, the amount of lyricism that went into 90s hip hop, the craft, it was totally. Yeah. Well, you got Nas, you know, Busta Rhymes and all these guys. I mean, these guys are, yeah, are legends, you yeah. know? All right, good deal, man.